I wanted to do a tutorial on how to resize the window better. Not necessarily how to do the resize, but how to detect the window resize. So let me just quickly explain what the purpose of this is. So normally uh, we have a window, right? And sometimes we have, say, a box that we need to calculate or whatever, whatever reason you may have. But you need to detect how big the window is as you drag it. Okay, so let's look at uh, how to do that regularly. Okay, so to do that on any HTML page, HTML, head, close the head, open the body, close the body, and then close the HTML. Okay, uh, we, we are going to need some script for this, and I'm always going to use jQuery to make things easier. So I'm just going to quickly grab um, my jQuery include. Because I like jQuery script. Um, I'm going to do this shorthanded. I don't need the type if I'm uh, expecting HTML5, just so you know. Um, you should have the type though. Okay. Uh, next thing we'll do uh, document.ready. Okay. Same way we start all JavaScript functions in jQuery that we need to happen when the document's loaded. Now we want to grab the window element, so that that's how you grab the window element. Okay. And then we're going to do dot resize okay this is basically the cross browser way using jQuery of course to to call the on resize function okay when we resize the window uh, we're gonna call a function win size I'm calling a function so I can make this easier later on okay now let's go ahead and write win size before we actually write function win size let's put some elements on our page we're gonna show in, in text boxes the width and the height that way, uh, I can just show you on the page as I'm dragging. So let's go ahead and create input type equals text, uh, and it's going to be ID equals width, right? And that'll be that, and a line break, and then input type equals text again, and then ID equals height, okay? So we're going to fill these in as we drag. Now, let's write function win size. So we're going to grab the width, okay? And that's going to be the, the value of that's going to be equal to the window object <clears throat> dot the width, like that. Okay? That will show us the width in that text box. Now we did the exact same thing with the height, so I'm just going to copy that and paste it and change width to height and window dot height. Okay? So that's uh, on your resize. Okay? So let's take a look at this uh, in Safari. Okay, this is in Safari now. You see two text boxes. As I drag, you can see the numbers. Now look how fast and responsive that is. Obviously, this would be perfect. Now, I don't have to do anything. This is a great resize function. However, let's look at it in Firefox, a browser that a lot of people use. Okay, as I resize, okay, this isn't the speed of uh, the screencast. This is actually it's it's only loading every uh, like every second it looks like it's really like if I do this you can obviously see how it's gonna mess up so I need it to be as fast as Safari I need it to be this responsive that way when I drag the window I need it to be responding to as I'm dragging I don't need it I can't have it update slow slowly like this and this is the problem normally I don't like to do fixes for an Explorer I mean I have to but I usually don't have to do fixes for Firefox but for this case we need it to work in Firefox because Firefox is a vastly used web browser so we're not going to use that function so what can we do well let's add uh, let's basically we're gonna have an interval so let's say uh, win int equals set interval okay we're gonna call now that win size function every let's say 50 milliseconds okay now let's take a look at it in Firefox okay now as I'm resizing it's really keeping up with me which is perfect however uh, you probably can't hear it, but my fans in my computer are starting to speed up I'm having a function run every 50 milliseconds even when I'm just sitting here so we have to do one other step so that this interval isn't running all the time. What we're going to do is we're going to make a hover function. So when you hover over the window, okay, window dot hover, I'm going to call a function, and then when you hover out, we're going to call another function, like that, okay. Now, what I'm basically trying to do is, is when I mouse out of the window, the window stops right here, okay. This resize bar that I have to grab is actually outside of the window okay 
So what we're going to do is when you mouse out of the window, we're going to run the interval. Okay? But when you mouse onto the window, okay, we're going to clear the interval when int. Okay? Now, what this is going to do is the interval is not running right now. You can see that the interval is not running, numbers aren't changing. When I come out, now I can do the resize. Interval is changing, interval is not moving. Okay? I'll go ahead and make, uh, just so you can see this, br input type equals quote text, id equals res. And I'm actually going to say, when we get here, uh, this is going to be um, pound res. We're going to say dot val. And that's going to be um, running, okay? And then we're going to do this again when we mouse over. We're going to say stopped. So you can see here, <clears throat> currently it's running, stopped, running, stopped. And that means when I get over here, it's running. It'll detect when I come back, it's stopped, okay? <clears throat> Not the best solution because if I'm working in here the whole time, obviously the interval is running. So you might want to time it out after a certain amount of time too. That might work as well. But at any rate, uh, this is a better resize function that's more cross-browser than the built-in dot resize uh, event.